All right, so inside this video, we're gonna be diving into four content creation tools to help you with leveling up your content. And these are tools that I use on a weekly basis. They're really gonna help you with standing out online, with attracting leads, and also getting clients for your business. So if you're looking to level up your content creation game, you're in the right place. Let's get into it. All right, so the first tool that I wanna share with you is CapCut. And you can use the mobile version or you could also use the desktop version. And this is the version I'm using right now. This is the desktop version. And inside the desktop version, I do all types of things. I edit reels, I edit YouTube videos, and I also use this to create some program lessons for my academy as well. So I'm just gonna share with you what you can do here. Now, if you're just using mobile, similar features, but essentially I'll just show you how to put together a reel inside of CapCut and just show you some of the features that I use. So I'm gonna go and import a video. So I'm gonna go to my downloads and if you're doing this on your computer you can just basically send the file from your phone to your computer and then edit it on the desktop I like to do it this way because it's just much easier to do this um, versus doing it on the mobile in my opinion so I'm going to take this for example and I'm going to drop it in here and this is not really in the format that I need it to be for it to be a reel and so what I can essentially do is if I click on ratio down here you want to put it in 9 by 16 and then that's going to put it in basically like a real format and then if we blow it up and now we play it, now it's in a real format. So if you wanted to post that on your stories, that's the same format. If you wanted to post it in, in Reels on Facebook or Instagram, that's in the right format. And if you wanted to post it, let's say on TikTok, it's in the right format. Now, in terms of the features that I do use is I like to create jump cuts and like shorten it down just to make it a little bit more engaging for anyone listening. So I'll essentially zoom in on all these bits where you see a gap and then I'll go control B. I'll scroll forward and I'll go control B there. And I'll basically do that throughout the whole clip and cut things out. And then when I play it, it's gonna jump from scene to scene or from sentence to sentence really quickly. And that just allows it to be much more engaging. Another thing that I like to do is if I click on this, I like to go um, scroll down and actually scroll up and you go to scale scale, you're able to zoom things in as well. So you notice when people's videos, they pop in and pop out. That's essentially how you do it in CapCut. So if I play this, see how it jumped in? That's just by using the scale. So really, really simple to use. And then what you can do afterwards is you can also add some subtitles to it. So if we go into the text section up here, we click on this and we go auto captions and we go create. Essentially what it's gonna do is it's gonna create some captions. I'll just show you quickly how I edit it and then you're pretty much good to go. I do use a third party tool to get the music but you could use music inside of any of the platforms like Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn if you wanted to add that on. But essentially I get my music from another site and I'll show you that in just one second. But essentially you can see now we've got the subtitles on it. Now what I like to do with the subtitles is click on them make the font size bigger. And then I have certain settings that I use. So I click on this setting and then I click on this setting. And then I just make sure that it's the right size. And if we now play it, you can see the subs on it. Now they're a little bit big, so I'm just gonna make them a little bit smaller and that's gonna edit all the subs. So if I press play now, then it edits the subs or the captions, whatever you call them. And you can go in here as well and you can change the text. So if you wanna put in a capital there or if there's anything that's not right, you can just scan through the video really quickly and just make sure that uh, everything is correct and um, everything with the captions makes sense in terms of what you're saying. But honestly, captions is really good at building out those subtitles. And this is a piece of software that I use all the time because I not only create my reels in here, but I also do editing of some of my YouTube videos. So if it's just a very simple and quick edit that I'm not sending off to an editor, then I'll do it myself inside of CapCut. And so it's very versatile for doing that. So that is one of my top tools that I use when it comes to content creation. Like I promised, I'm gonna show you where I actually got the music for my reels. I'm gonna show you how to put it on top of your reels inside of CapCut in in probably about 60 seconds or less, so bear with me. All right, so the site is called epidemicsound.com and you can search for this. There is a subscription. It does cost, but it's very useful. And essentially you've got all these different tracks that you can choose from. And I've got some of my favorites here saved. So if you go to Alex's tracks, I can simply download this and you could go in, right? Pay for a subscription for one month, go and get I don't know, 200 tracks if you wanted to, download those to your computer, and then you've got those files that then you could use in CapCut. All right, so I'm back in CapCut. I'm gonna show you how to import the media. So I'm gonna go import. I'm gonna find that track, which is this track. 
and then it's so simple. You just grab it, you chuck it underneath, you move it over here, and then you just pull that down and just make sure it's not too loud. And then if we play, then we've got music, we've got the subtitles, and if we've done all the editing, we'll have all those jump cuts in there too. And you can layer some other stuff on top, like some B-roll or some other video footage to make this a little bit more engaging. And this is just a face to camera video, but you could do a training session inside the gym, get someone to, to video that for you and then chop it up into like a full workout. You could do some stuff in the kitchen. You can do all sorts, of course. It doesn't have to be a face to camera video, but just wanted to show you my editing process inside of CapCut and how I actually use this in my business on a weekly basis. All right, so the next tool that I pretty much use every single week is Canva and they've got a free and they've got a paid version. Now with the paid version, you've got more features and things that you can do, but you can see inside of here, we can do all kinds of things. I like to create graphics like this. Maybe that's client wins. Maybe that's something to promote something that I'm doing. What I love about this is it's actually very easy to use and it's very versatile. If you go to this section over here, you've got all these different things that you could use to help you with creating your designs. So we've got graphics, shapes and lines. We've got uh, charts, frames, all kinds of different things in here. And so you can really get creative with your designs and it's very easy to use. I'm not a professional designer, but with a little bit of practice, very easy to create these types of things. Things. And if you go into the home section and you look at all the different designs and templates they've got, you can search for things like if I put in here, it's going to give you lots of different templates that you could work with that might be a nice base for you to start with when it comes to creating something like a guide or a PDF or some sort of resource or a post, etc. So I've typed in health. Let's type in fitness. Cool. This is probably gonna be applicable to a lot of people that are watching this right now. You can see that there's some really good designs and there's been um, a big rise in these types of agencies that create this type of stuff for people. You can definitely go down that route, but if you spent a little time yourself just going into the template section inside of Canva, I imagine a lot of you listening to this are probably gonna find some things that you can work with and can create some really quality designs for any bits of content or graphics or promotional assets that you wanna create, even client, uh, even books just inside of the templates alone inside of Canva. And this is a must use in my opinion for any online personal trainer or, or any online health and fitness coach. So that is tool number two. All right, so the next tool that I wanna share with you is called Color Tone. Now, I'm not gonna brand myself as an influencer, and if we scroll through this, these look like influential people and influencers, but essentially, I like to use this to actually put all of my photos, specifically for Instagram, but for other platforms too, into a filtration process, and I actually use their free feature. I believe it's called Seychelles is the one that I use, and essentially, it just makes all of my images look congruent when I actually post them on Instagram or Facebook and it adds this nice little shine and gloss to it, which seems minor, but it just makes it look a little bit more professional than just posting it straight from my phone. And so if you just want that slight edge, only gonna take you about 30 seconds per photo. And I feel like it makes a difference. It makes my photos look better and it just adds that consistency and pulls it all together, which is why I like to use this app called Colortone. Whenever I'm posting a photo, I run it through Colortone. All right, so the final app that I wanna share with you is Captions. And this is one that I used to use very heavily before I discovered CapCut, but this actually may be more appropriate or applicable to some of you listening to this. So I wanna share this with you. Now, Captions is this one down here. So we're gonna click on that. And essentially, this is probably the best on the market for creating those subtitles over your videos. So let's just imagine you've created your video. Your video is done. You just need to add some captions to it. Captions is, is great for doing that. And so let's just go and select the Video. I'm going to pick up like this video here. So we'll click on that one. And once this loads up, what we're essentially going to be able to do is we're going to be able to put the captions on top. So I'm just going to click done and then continue with item. And then essentially what it's going to do right now is it's just going to scan my voice and essentially it's going to allow me to create those captions on top. So again, this is good if you want very specific and engaging looking captions and you just want to put captions on top of a finished video essentially. So I'm going to go proceed to English. Now it's going to upload and it's pretty quick. And then I'll show you some of the designs in terms of what you can use. All right, so the magic is happening. We've got less than 60 seconds and we should be good to go go. All right. It's almost there. Three, two, one. Let's go. 
All right, perfect. So now you can see that we've got these captions up here and we can slide them down. And notice you've got those things either side, almost like bowling lanes. That's not where you wanna go because it won't show up very well. So let's just edit the captions and let's have a look at what we've got here. So we'll go into style and you've got all these different styles here that you could potentially use when it comes to your captions. And let's go for, let's go for this one. So you've probably seen these on some people's videos already and now you know how to do it. So we're gonna click down on done down here. So can you see that? Let's click on that. And then from there, we'll be able to see the captions. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna press play and now you can see those captions in effect and you can move them around the screen depending on where you wanna have them. But essentially, these really pop from the screen and these are really the best captions I've seen out there for videos. And so this might be an app that you wanna incorporate into your content creation process. There's lots of different options here at the bottom that you can use when it comes to colors, style, scale, editing, etc. Lots more things that you can probably do today that I'm not even aware of because I don't use this app anymore because now I'm just doing everything inside of CapCut. So there you have it. Those are all the apps that I'm consistently using with the bonus one in there as well for anyone just to give you another option when it comes to your video creation process. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and we'll be back soon with another episode. Take care.